friends today what we are going to do is we are going to draw a cardinal bird and let's see the supplies that we need we need paper it's half a paper that we're using we need watercolor because it's watercolor we need some water and we need some crayons we need markers and we are going to practice draw on something so i have a whiteboard if you don't have a whiteboard you can use a scrap paper like always um you may need a pencil also so let's first learn how to draw a cardinal bird okay so this cardinal bird we are going to draw in the portrait style so we are going to place the paper in the portrait style i'm going to leave like three finger space on top i'm going to put a dot almost in the middle of the paper or maybe a little bit um little bit to the right not in the middle little bit to the right of the paper and then next thing um what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this is the eye okay next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to leave like one finger space and then make a c okay i'm going to make like a cone can you see the cone yeah what do you think this is this is the if that this is the eye this is the uh the beak okay i'm going to add the line to show like two parts of the beak then from here i'm going to go all the way to the top of the paper straight line okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to make like a upside down v but the side one side of the v is straight and this side is like a uh, sp spiky so it looks like a v now right so this was the middle of the v till the middle you go straight and from here you're making spiky lines once you reach um maybe here almost the eye you can stop with the spiky line and then from there we are going to draw curvy lines okay i'm just drawing like a s a slight s can you see the slight s now next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draw the uh the tummy of the bird okay so the tummy of the bird is like this like a um a c or what can you call this uh we can <laughs> It's almost like that okay or you can go a little bit more down hmm, this is better this shape so it's like um almost um you half for you it looks like it is cut off from this part right then from here I think the head should have been a little bit big. It's okay. I'm going to make a curvy line like that. Okay. Maybe the head should have been a little bit more further. This side. Not right smack in the middle. It doesn't matter. Or you can draw a straight line also. This, this also works. Can you see? I think the straight line works. Yeah, straight line works better. The bird looks better now. So, uh, so what did we do? We let's quickly go over the steps because I myself might forget what we did. We put a dot, then we made a C, and then we connected it with a um, V to make it look like a cone, and then we put a line in between to show the beak. And then we do a straight line almost to the top. And then from here, we uh, made some lines, uh, spiky lines coming down because this bird has like hair sticking out. So we made spiky lines almost uh, till you reach the eye. So after you make the spiky line, it will look like an upside down V with one side straight and one side with spike. Then we you draw a 
uh, like a U um, shape for the tummy. Okay, half a U. And then here, from here, you are going to make a line like this downwards for the back of the bird. Now, what we need to do is we need to draw the, um, the wings. So I'm going to make lines like that. <coughs> no. Or we can draw this other way. Like that. This way also will be good. Then you need to draw the legs. Because the big bird, we need to make sure that the legs are also big. So this bird look like he has a mask on. So I'm going to make a like a V shape, a curvy V around his eyes and then I'm going to go like that to the side and then bring it down like that. A C. A V, a C like that. So we have, and then you need to color that part in when we are coloring. I'm going to make it look like it has feathers sticking out. So once we are done with that much, what we're going to do is we are going to add the branches. So I'm going to add a branch first and then we'll complete the legs. So the branch should not be too thin because it's a bird that is sitting on it so I made one like that then I'm going to make another one overlapping so when you're overlapping it should be behind it right I'm going to draw so many overlapping branches maybe there is some branch here okay so the branches are done maybe we can draw the feet okay so this is all the drawing that we needs to be done so then um what is remaining is coloring so the drawing the cardinal is a little bit um where you need to put a um, little bit um, pay attention to after that it is pretty easy okay so uh if you think you are ready to draw the bird you can put the whiteboard away and take your paper paper as i said we are going to put it in the portrait style i'm going to leave like three finger space on top i'm going to put a dot not um to so little bit not in the middle little bit over here i'm going to make the eyes okay and then i'm going to leave one finger space and then i'm going to draw a curvy line a curvy line was the other way around right i forgot it's like a c and then we are going to make the beak. Now I'm going to go all the way to the top of the paper with a line like that. And from here, all, uh, onwards I'm making uh, spiky lines. Once you reach the eye, you are going to go like that to the side. Now from here, I'm going to make almost a U. Yeah, half a U or a J. Can you see the J? Backwards J. <laughs> I'm dyslexic. So I'm like, when I see this, I see like, is that J? So then we are going to make the wings. So another curvy line and then you can add 
lines like that. Okay, so uh, the mask. So if you think drawing the mask is difficult, it's not that difficult. You can either just make a C around the eyes like that and then color the whole thing black or you can make this part a little bit like make make a line like this and then a V also. Okay, yeah, I should have done that when I showed you this. <laughs> now I am figuring it out how to draw this. Sometimes the first time when I draw, I do this once, but mm, I didn't like that way. So I changed it when I showed you guys. And then, yeah, that is better. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to draw the legs. A big bird, right? So not stick legs. And then... Um, Maybe a little bit longer. I'm going to draw uh, branches. So the branches, you can make it curvy. You are going to draw more branches. And if you want to make it look like it's overlapping, don't draw the line on top like that. Go under that and then... Let me draw a few more branches. Maybe there's a branch behind the bird. It's behind, so I'm not drawing the line on top of the bird. Okay. So I think that's enough of uh, lines for now. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my black. Uh, I'm taking my Sharpie because we are going to color the rest with watercolor. Uh, you guys are going to take your uh, black crayon and outline everything. Okay. So and then some parts also needs to be outlined. Some. What I'm going to do is, so the eye, um, this part is completely um, black. So what we'll do is, the eye part, the around the eye, I'm going to make a circle like that. Okay. I'm not going to color in there. So this only a small dot like that. The rest of the thing I'm going to color in black. Got that? So the eye leave it white. Now let's color the beak. Not the color, uh, outline the beak. What am I saying? Just adding little toes like that. Mm -hmm. Then, okay, so let's outline the branches. This is not that good. 
Mata. I hope this works. I'm just adding some small branches like that to make it more natural, okay? Draw the one behind the bird. Okay, so uh, the outlining part is done. Um, I'm just erasing the lines. You don't have to erase it because if you erase on top of a crayon, it's not going to work well. If you, in case you had a Sharpie and used it, you can erase it if you have the, any part that needs to be erased. Okay, now uh, I'm going to take some So I'm going to color the branch. Only the sky I'm going to color blue with the watercolor. The rest, maybe the bird also. The rest I'm going to, the rest is the branch, right? I'm going to color with the um I was planning to color the bird with the marker. That's why I asked you guys to take the marker. I think I'll color the bird also with the watercolor. Or should we color with the crayon itself? Let me see. Maybe we can use crayon itself to color the bird. It's going to be nice. That way also. So you need to put apply some pressure when you're coloring so that it looks nice and small areas be careful when you're coloring small areas i guess you guys have smaller uh crayons so mine is thick that's why it is a little bit you need to be a little bit careful when you are coloring small areas you guys don't need to pay that much attention i guess so you would be wondering you won't be wondering because you know the reason why the trees uh, branches don't have any leaves left right yeah it's a window scene that we are doing maybe we'll add some um, make it look like it is snowing. Okay, so uh, I hope I remember after I'm done with this that we need to add some snow before we move on to the next step. Maybe the bird's leg, we can color it black itself. So you, you could have I was thinking, I'm wondering, should, have, should we use uh, brown for the leg? I think we can use black there. The uh, legs are also covered. Oh, yeah. Before I forget, what I'm going to do next is 
I'm going to put some snow. So what I'm just doing is I'm just making a uh, white dots to make it look like it is snowing. Maybe some on the bird also so it will look like it is. So here, so this is how I'm going to do with the, I'll have some snow. So see the shape that I made. So I'm, you don't have to draw that. I'm just adding it with the crayon to make it look like the snow has, there is some snow settled in on the tree branches in some areas. Maybe what you should do is, um, you can fast forward the video because once um, you paint, you'll be able to see what I did with the white. So you can fast forward the video and see how I put the white, putting dots. I'm sorry, you won't be able to see a white on a white paper is a bit crazy. So fast forward and see where all I put white and how I put white. Okay, I think I have enough of white. Now, okay, the B calls I'm going to color with this. It's going to be yellow. Small areas, it'll be easy. Now I'm going to put the crayon back. We didn't use the marker. I'm going to take the water. What color are we using? Blue. You can either color the background purple or blue. It doesn't matter. I'm going to use uh, blue because uh, your bird is going to stand out more when you use blue. Um, because purple has a tinge of red, right? So it will almost blend it. Okay. So I'm just going to put water in blue and red. I'm not using any other color. Red. Should I start painting the red? I think I'll start with the bird. So I'm going to swirl my brush in red because you know the reason the paint is dry. You need to wake the paint sleeping, sleeping. So I'm, I need a bright red. So I'm just going to, um, do this a few times let me make these lines a little bit more thick you guys um because my marker was is a new one it gave thin lines okay now i'm going to hold the see what happened because i was holding it upside down so hold the brush um like uh, your pencil and i'm going to outline Let your, make your brush stand on the tippy toes. I'm outlining. And then I'm coloring. So this time, what am I going to do? Usually when we are painting, we usually, uh, when your brush is dry, you take go take a drink of water, right? Today we are not doing. If your brush is dry, go just take paint because we want this to be nice and bright. I'm going to spread out the paint. So make the fence and then fill in the rest of the area. Can you see a dot that appeared just now that I had put a dot? My brush is dry, so let me add some water and then. I think I put a white dot here, here. Yeah, so the rest of the area is left like that. So now I'm going to uh, wash my brush. So washing the brush is like sweeping the floor. Your brush bristles should be touching the floor of the container. Uh, do this a few times and then you're going to swirl your brush in blue. And this time... Uh, when you are painting off us, you're going to go along the the bird. Okay, and then you're going to spread it out. 
you don't have to worry about the branch because it is crayon, right? So can you see some deposits of um, snow there? Making a fence. So when you're making the fence around the bird, don't uh, take too much paint because paint can spread. Okay, now you can dip it in the water when your brush is dry and then start coloring the rest. Now it is safe to color. Okay, go. Can you see the snow that I created? The snow looks like big dots. I would have liked if it was a smaller dots. It's okay. Sometimes that happened. Because I was also not seeing where I'm putting it, right? I couldn't see the exact shape. So that's how it... You can paint over the uh, branches also. So it will just get into the spaces where you didn't paint uh, or color with the crayon well. Each time your brush is dry, dip it in the water. And then you are going to uh, take some more paint and then color. Water, paint, color. Water, paint, color. So don't, if your brush is thirsty, give your brush some water. Don't uh, paint with a thirsty brush. With this, we are done painting the cardinal bird and the background. So, as we always do, we are not going to uh, close the container right now because it is wet. Uh, I'm going to wash my brush, like sweeping the floor, wipe it on the rim and leave my brush on the side. Um, see that if there is like paint all over you may need to wipe it clean i'm going to leave it like this i think that is fine a little bit of paint on the side is fine i'm going to leave it for it to dry and then what you're going to do is um this uh let it dry and once it is dry take a picture of your art email it to me with your name grade um your room number and your school name i would like to see how this turned out i know you guys uh, have done this well you guys are amazing artists i'm sure of that each one of you are amazing at like some style of art i have seen that so whatever it is you're going to email it to me and till we meet next time bye bye